हे एवरी वन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट सो दिस इज़ द वीडियो फॉर पैरा जम्बल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू द बेस्ट अप्रोच बाई विच यू कैन सोल्व द पैरा जम्बल्स ओके एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो अप्लाई दिस मैथड इन द मॉक टेस्ट एंड इन द प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो एंड यू विल सी आ ह्यूज चेंज प्लस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू परचेज दिस फोर थाउजेंड क्वेश्चन बुक then the link of all the books of all the subjects is given in description for all the versions hindi and english both okay so you can go and check the description and buy these books so first of all we will read that there are five sentences a b c d and e okay and we have to arrange these sentences so the first rule is to read all the sentences and to try to find the introductory statements okay so research suggest the body could adapt to regular gym date so if we hit the weight room every day at 4 pm eventually we might perform better at that time than at any other time any other time of day in a nutshell the best time to work out is when you will work out so first of all we will reject b because b is concluding this in a nutshell it means that it is tr trying to tell us the conclusion okay in a nutshell means in the conclusion so we will reject b then this implies that scheduling it means a sentence is before c so c cannot be our introductory statement but we will read it this implies that scheduling your workout for the time of the day that works best for you will almost always produce the most dramatic results then for d these findings are similar it means that there are some findings given in the sentence which is before d so d also cannot be our introductory statement but we will read these findings are similar to earlier research which suggest that sticking to a st specific workout time can result in better performance higher oxygen com consumption and lower perceived exhaustion then we will read e plenty of people tout the benefits of early morning sweat sessions but if you can't fit in a workout before noon don't sweat it so this is the introductory statement because we have already eliminated b c d and in this in a it is showing that a research is suggesting but this is the sentence which is introdu introducing all the lines okay so e will be our first sentence and we will make five places and e will be e will be our first sentence in which it is telling that it is not necessary that you do the workout in the morning you can do it in the afternoon also because everybody has different body clock okay now the sentence which is supporting is this that research is suggesting that the body could adapt to regular gym dates if we hit the weight room every day at 4 pm okay eventually we might perform better at that time than at any other time of the day so this statement in a is supporting the introductory statement all right because in e it is telling that it is not important that you do the workout in morning and in a the research is done and now it has supported e it means that a will a will follow e okay then b is the concluding statement we will write it in the end then this implies that scheduling your workout for the time of the day that works best for you will almost always produce the most dramatic results and in d these findings are similar to earlier research which findings which are found in the research which was done in a sentence okay so these findings these findings okay so d will follow a so d will come here and after that this implies that scheduling your workout for the time of the day will produce most dramatic results and in nutshell the best time to work out is when you will work out all right so this is the way to solve the para jumbles okay you have to just connect the sentences one by one and it is not that much tough all right you just have to know the comprehensions and you just be able to un try to understand what the author wants to say all right so you just have to arrange the sentences one by one so that is all for this video thank you and have a nice day